Yo, what's good? New challenge video today. I've been wanting to land this flat trick for quite a while. I've given it like a couple of times, but you know when you like try a trick, but you're not actually trying the trick? Yeah, so I've done that quite a few times with this trick, um, but today I figured if I give it like a solid 30 minutes to an hour, I could probably land it. So this is gonna be flatland challenge. I don't know how many of these I've done. I think I've I know for sure I've done one, so maybe this is number two. Anyway, the trick is double untwist. The only other person that I've seen do this is Tanner Fox. He does it better than like anyone else can even do that trick out of a ramp. So I want to see if I can get it down and uh, ride away from it. So I've told you guys already, or I've mentioned before, that I have a flatland competition coming up. And I know that learning new tricks is like super important because I want to be on my like A game. I want to have like unique tricks that people won't be able to do. But I also want to make sure that I have, or that I maintain all of the tricks that I already can do, you know? Consistency is going to be just as important as everything else in this. I'm going to do right now five untwists in one line. Just that way I can get the motion like my hand used to the motion and I can start trying double into this. Easy enough. I think just for kicks and giggles, I'll also do five bar twists. <laughs> I can do those actually like a lot faster than the untwist. I just now realized that. But I still want to stick with the double untwist. And for those of you guys who don't actually know the difference between an untwist and a bar twist, untwist is going inside. So see how the bar is coming towards my waist and then your hand wraps around it. And then bar twist is going outside. So it's going away from my waist. But your hand still wraps around the bar and then it comes back. to throw in a couple mega spins. I'm still not the best at them, but I'm trying. John, one of these days, I'm gonna get the mega spin. I'm, do, I'm gonna do it well enough to where I can do quad whip out, triple down heel out, or who knows, maybe like flare out or flare into it. One of these days, if I keep practicing like that. I think I'm just gonna go straight into the first attempt at the double into a flat. Let's see what happens. So attempt number one honestly wasn't too bad. I got two full untwists around, but my foot just went down like when the second untwist was only like three quarters around. Right off the bat, I already kind of know what I have to do. Of course, like jump as high as you can. That's the number one rule for any flat trick. But number two, since I'm not like super fast with the untwist, I have to make sure that I'm not cutting corners. So even though I'm like slightly slow, if I can just overcompensate with jumping, exaggerate the untwist motion so that way I don't hurt my wrist, it'll come around. Okay, here we go, attempt number two. <laughs> what just happened? Okay, I almost don't want to talk about that, but what just happened? I literally landed like flat on my butt. Like I jumped so high to, and I pulled back so much to where I got off balance in the air and my back foot was kind of like stuck onto my brake. So I couldn't get it off and I was like, oh no, I'm going down. This is it, this is Cody Flom, like 2000 to 2019, it's over. And then I just landed on my butt and it just hurt nothing more than my dignity. Third attempt though, that was better. I'm kind of getting a better concept of this trick Let's try not to land on your, my butt again, and then uh, I'll roll away from it.
Okay, so I just put in like three or four more attempts. Uh, the last attempt was the closest. I'm looking like when I look back at the clip, I'm seeing that I just need like the slightest bit ro more rotation on my bars and then I'm right there. So I don't wanna like try to overdo it again because like last time I tried to jump really high, I just let it flat on my butt. But I wanna be as concise as possible and exert my energy where I feel most comfortable. So that's pretty much like right before my back wheel is off the ground. And then that's right when I know like, okay, this is a good one or this isn't. I have to gauge that and then hopefully I can get two around and roll away from it. My days, I was literally right there. So I'm figuring it out. If I just roll up with my hand closer in on my grip, on my bars, I'm not even touching my grip at this point. But if I roll up with my hand closer to like where my down tube connects with my crossbar, then I can get the first one around faster. As a result of that, the second one has more time to come around. I'm gonna get it, this next one. I totally committed to that last one and my hand completely came off my bars and like my scooter almost hit me in the face. Thankfully it didn't. <sighs> Still figuring this out. As long as I like can convince myself to put my hand like as close in on the bar as I possibly can, then I'll probably get it around. The only difficult part is when you jump, you have less leverage when your hands are closer in like that. So I'm like, Ugh. you know, it's I'm conflicted within myself. I know what I have to do, but I also, know what I'm supposed to be doing on like other flat tricks. I'm still gonna land it. I'm like right there. I can't stop this video until I land it. baby double onto his flat on t-bars what oh man i'm stoked i did that it was just like a combination of like perseverance hard work and a little bit of discipline maybe and, and it ended up working i think a lot of people think like somebody some one person has like the cheat code to a specific trick and to be honest that cheat code is those three things i just said hard work discipline and perseverance you can get good advice from people no doubt and take that advice but if you're not actually putting in the effort yourself, then you're not gonna get any results that you want. I think that's a metaphor for life as well. Take heed of all of the advice that you get from your parents and that you get from wise people around you. But at the end of the day, it's you that has to work on those things for yourself. Nobody else can work on those things for you. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 12. Deuces.